The next one was quite an interesting one, um, Law Abiding Citizen. I keep hearing about this movie um, through friends and we sell it quite prevalently at work. It's always, I always just see it there. And so I thought it came on Foxtel a couple of weeks ago. I just recorded it and thought I knew I was doing this. I'll get around to it fairly quickly. And I watched it quite oh, at about one in the morning or something. And about halfway through this movie, I thought that this was the best movie ever. Like, it's so clever, the character, while he's a murderer, he's sympathetic, he does all this, the DA's a dick, yeah, kill all of them. And you get about, I got about probably two-thirds of the way through the movie, and it stopped being clever. The movie stopped being clever, and it became cliché, and his and the protagonist Jude Law, his actions became reprehensible. Where you stopped feeling sympathy for him, where you once had it, where he was the angry father avenging his um, daughter, avenging his daughter and his wife, getting back at the justice system that had failed him. By by the point where you start killing every single DA in the county, that's a bit far. I mean, calm your shit. I get you're upset, but you're killing everyone now and. What makes you so much better than the people that killed them? Why are they so evil and you're so righteous? And I think the love that he obviously had for his family wasn't portrayed when um, Jamie Foxx, I can't remember the characters' names in movies I don't love. So anyway, even movies I do love, I sometimes forget them. But anyway, Jamie Foxx's character comes to him and said, what would your wife and daughter feel about what you're doing? And he kind of turns around for a bit and goes, well, they don't feel anything, they're dead. I mean, that is not what I think a real person would say. I think that the love he obviously showed for his family wasn't shown. He just he was just blind in rage. But he, it just, look, it was a good movie. And it was actually quite clever in the way they thought of killing people. But in the end, it, there could have been, it could have been done better. And it could have been done less cliche. The ending wasn't good. I didn't think, I thought it just cut out. I thought that the, the DA who was so angry that this guy was killing people, rightly so, he killed a lot of people, um, killed him. Now, I know that they have the death penalty in America, but some, like who makes him judge during the executioner when he's actually the DA? So how does he go and convict a murderer next time? I thought that was bullshit. And then he just goes and sits like nothing happened at his daughter's um, recital. In the end, he did learn a lesson, and I think that it did actually show through the movie problems within the US justice system, which I might not know a lot about, but through other movies, I do kind of have a rough idea that it's pretty shit. But, you know, my opinion of this movie, if you ask me halfway through, I'd have said nine. You ask me now, I say six. Not impressed. I said six and a half throughout the week. It's actually gone down. I'm just disappointed in it. Didn't like it. Not happy. Anyway, next movie, actually, another one about uh, the American justice system, A Time to Kill. I love this movie. This is the one, this is one of the movies I can watch a hundred times and never get bored of it. And to top it off, Matthew McConaughey is in it. And I have the biggest man crush on Matthew McConaughey ever. No homo, whatever, but I love him. And I first stumbled upon this movie when I was doing Year 10 Legal, which was about three years ago. We were watching it halfway through class, and I didn't think much of it. Then mum came home one day with the book it's actually based on, and I thought, oh, I know this, and I was looking for something to read. I read it. I fell in love. And so I saw the movie once in JB High Five, and I watched the movie, and I fell in love with it more than I did with the book. It's just fan. Fantastic. The, the story is basically this um, little girl is killed by these rednecks and um, they get sent to jail but because of the justice system they might be out in 10 years or so, 15 years. Samuel L. Jackson isn't happy with this and he goes out to kill these um, two men that did these terrible things to her. They um, raped her. They did hideous things to her. Um, he kills them, and then he wants to get off. And it's about how he gets off and how racism in this small community 
It's about how the justice system works and how it can be manipulated, sometimes for the greater good. The, the way this is done really well is while this, while compared to, say, law-abiding citizen, the person who killed people, like Samuel L. Jackson who killed people in this, he remains um, sympathetic. You feel sorry for him. You, want, you don't want him to go to jail. This is one of the best movies I've ever seen. I love it. The only problem with this is that I bought such an old copy of the DVD, it's over two sides, so I have to, I have to um, f flip it over. I mean, um, fantastic. I can't recommend this one highly enough. I like it more than Goodfellas. This one is getting a 10. I love it. It's fantastic. It, if you can go out and watch it right now, do it. If you can watch it tomorrow, do it. If you can watch it every day this year, do it. Fantastic. It's like one of those movies that I, I, I'm in love with. And, yeah. Um... Next movie is another one I really love, Friday Night Lights. Um, this is the story of American football in Odessa, Texas. Um, the Panthers, um, it's about a year with a lot of hype. Before the year, there's a lot of speculation that they could challenge for state, um, which I'm sure you realise is the big one. Um, and it all, it's all in the back of this one player who, um, what's, I can't remember his name, he's a jet, like he's going to win in the thing. And so there's all this hype, and in the first game of the season, he injures himself. And so while there's all this hype and build-up, you know, people are saying, well, yeah, we've lost our best player, that our whole game plan's play, uh, you know, based around, but that can't cost us state. It's about how this whole small town that lives and breathes um, American football deals with that. And so the movie is done brilliantly. It explores the lives, it explores the trials, tribulations of this big town. Um, yeah, and the best thing I love about this movie, and this is a massive spoiler alert, so if you do want to watch this movie and don't want me to um, spoil something, cover your ears for the next 20 seconds. The best thing about this movie is they lose. They get to the state championship game and they lose by that much. And that is the perfect way to end it. Could have cliched it out, made them win by that much, and it still would have been a good movie. But the fact that they lose, it blows your mind. You're sitting there and you're cheering them on. They're like, "Go, go, yeah, oh, he's so close, clear off." No, he's lost, and they deal with it. It's fantastic. Can't recommend this highly enough. This one gets nine and a half. Watch this movie. I've had a good week in movies, really. Um, all right, my last one is Top Gun, and I think if you've seen my Tumblr. If you know me, I like Top Gun. I even have my, my Year 12 jacket had Maverick on it. I wanted Goose, but we weren't allowed animals because we had a difficult head of canvas. But anyway, Top Gun. I mean, what more can I really say about it? Typical guy flick, you know, amazing. I love it. I'm not really going to say a lot about it because, you know, whatever I say is probably heard. It's a classic. If you haven't seen it by now, anything I say isn't going to convince you. Fantastic movie. Ultimate pop-up thing. I give it a 9 out of 10. So I hope you enjoyed my longer vlog. I will be camping tomorrow. Anyone who actually knows me knows I'm not the camping type. So wish me luck. I'm going to try and have fun. It should be good. I've got, I've got this to keep me occupied. So that well, should be right. And some beers. So yeah. Um, yeah. Anyway, I'll... Um, I'll watch some movies while I'm camping because there's PowerPoints. We're not really going bush. We're going like semi-bush, which is fantastic. So I'll bring my computer. I'll bring my hard drive. Watch some movies when I'm over there. Might do a personal vlog from over there. Don't know. Go with the flow. See what happens. And I will speak to you later.